In the following image, labiolingual, mesiodistal, cervical, and mid root ground section of which tooth are shown. So, if you just try to see here, you will be able to see the labiolingual portion that means the mesial or distal aspect of the tooth here. Then, here you will be able to see the uh, mesiodistal that can be either lingual or buccal aspect of the tooth, and then cross section at the cervical area is given and finally the cross section at mid root ground section is given so uh, from here we can uh, just try to identify the tool so if you see the mesial or distal that is your first figure here either wedge shaped crown is seen wedge shaped crown is generally seen or we can see we can say that it is a triangle okay then coming to the labial or lingual view that is your mesiodistal view okay in the mesiodistal view uh, just the outline is quite clear okay and here you can see that the tooth appears to be shovel shape tooth is like a shovel okay then coming to the next one here you can appreciate that mostly uh, the canal is roughly rounded okay it is almost rounded or oval okay and in the center that is the mid root level if you just appreciate the canal is perfectly rounded okay so these are the things which we have seen from these sections okay and that is uh, like for all these sections there are actually five six teeth which are given and now we'll try to identify this too so these all are the feature of the maxillary central incisor and I will be explaining that in detail uh, with the help of this particular figure. So, if you just see the incisal view here, okay, first of all, let us start with the incisal view, although that is not given in the picture, but we will try to cover every aspect. So, the crown and incisal margins are centered over root. So, if you see the incisal aspect, you won't be able to see the root. That simply means that the crown and the incisal margin are basically centered over the root. The crown outline is bilaterally symmetrical. So, if you just try to understand this, this is bi almost bilateral, bilaterally symmetrical, but sometimes it is seen that in central incisor, maxillary central incisor, mesial profile is little larger. Okay, very slight larger, enlargement of the mesial profile can be seen. Okay, so this is the mesial area, this is the distal area, and this is how we can conclude it. Now, uh, coming to the incisal, uh, incisal view is done, now coming to the labial view. So, if you see the labial view, so you will see convexity in the cervical third. One thing is this, the another important thing here is the meso incisal angle, this is your meso incisal angle is sharp while the disto incisal angle is rounded. Then the third thing uh, which we generally see is that the overall tooth will be almost a quadrilateral or a pentagonal type of tooth. Okay, So, this is about the lingual side. Now, coming to the lingual view, if you see in the lingual, the cingulum is well developed. The cingulum of the tooth is well developed and the tooth of course appears to be shovel shape. Now coming to the mesial view, okay, so the mesial and distal both the views almost uh, very identical. If you see this is the mesial view and this is the distal view and you won't be able to uh, know the appreciable changes between these two. So, not many references are there. Just you can remember that if you see from the distal aspect here, so you will be able to appreciate the incisal edge of the uh, mesial side because this is quite smooth. Okay. And you can see the other area because, because being the smoother, it will be lower than the distal incisal angle. So, that is something which you can view from the distal aspect. Okay. Otherwise, uh, if you just see the mesial uh, or the distal both the side of this particular tool, so these are nothing but the wedge shaped. You can see these are wedge shaped. 
or we can say these are triangular and the mesial cervical curvature is the most pronounced compared to any other two. So if you see the cervical curvature in the mesial side, this one, it is very prominent, even prominent than any other tooth in the oral cavity. Okay, so this is seen on the mesial side. Okay, and this curvature can be as deep as 3.5 mm. Okay, root is of course uh, conical and it is generally narrow on palatal side. So generally the root is conical. If you see this is a cone. So the roots are conical. Okay. And if you just try to understand the whole morphology, palatal side it will be narrower while it would be uh, more wider on the other mesodistal side. Okay. So this is the mesodistal side. So mesodistal you can see it is quite wider but if you see from the palatal aspect from the palatal aspect or labiolingually it will be narrow. So this is something which we have to remember in this particular tool. Now coming back to the question here. So the here we have seen the west shaped tooth is there, shovel shaped lingual surface is there, rounded or uh, rounded oval teeth are there and at the same time here we can also appreciate this is quite pointed. So this is of course the meso incisal angle while the distro incisal angle is quite rounded okay so from here we can uh, uh, we can uh, confirm that this particular tooth is your maxillary central incisor so answer to this is your maxillary permanent central incisor and permanent tooth can be uh, easily distinguished by the size from the uh, primary teeth and permanent are always larger and in all the options permanent is given so you don't have to worry about the differences in deciduous and permanent dentition here.